tossed into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting at in space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind of vibe. Hey, my dad on could make a better space station than that. I'd like to meet it. Yeah. Another conspiracy line caller. You're in Area 53. Do not use Shit, fluoride. Shit, hold the evil. gas. It made me kill my doctor. <laughs> Why would we Let's worry go. about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Hi, my name is I'm really worried about hackers that could be a bomb after me. You know, through the phone. Do you think it's good for my local... Look, it's good for the economy to live in constant fear. I mean, the phone company, they have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I do it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. The cowboy ghost is haunting my house. I want you to take off your horse. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure. Tracking rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey, man, love the show. I'm to see you the you big picture. You're being lied to, man. The guys like you don't help much. You know, you're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector, it's in you all, Think about the things we talked about today. Think seriously. Think. We can be false. We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. Right here. Yeah. That was Area 53. We're sorry. In the game of checkers in life, sometimes you make the wrong move and get jumped. If you made the wrong move and need money fast, we're here to capitalize on that. Some people are destined to make the wrong move over and over again. It's okay. It's all right. What are possessions and life's treasures if you can't catch a man during a self-imposed crisis? At a big old brokerage and pawn, we'll secure the funds you need for any collateral items you can get your hands on. Just bring in your stock, jewelry, electronics, munitions, dust, automobiles, power tools, home movies, children, exercise equipment, pets, coin collection, or your spleen, liver, or kidney, and we'll give you cash on the spot. After all, some habits are expensive. We don't need proof of ownership. We're about the most basic exchange. Goods for money. We'll buy anything, including your dignity. A big old brokerage and pawn. Next up on WCTR, the news. We try to make it interesting and not depressing. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they? And why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Go Travel ahead, is still driving severely this thing. restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Come on, Richard the Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with it. Troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a Move suspected it. U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. 
The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Let's be careful. Come live the mystery. Water Sports Park. I'll show your kids a great time. It's something they'll never forget and talk about for years to come, especially at therapy sessions. It's the place for magic and adventure. Leaving me free to shop and get lipo. Who's ready for the incredible Dribbles Voyage? Jerry, can we come too? This is a journey I must undertake alone. Ready, ready, it can well be dark done. and scary. So shriek with delight. Wait and see. You'll be amazed. Fuck this is Glory Hole Theme Park. Come on, Open get a move every on. day till 3 a.m. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store and then you sick of fence? God, I just don't understand. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next call. Yeah, you got a hamburger to give me before I go? I want to plant one on my egg white lawn. It's called a morpho phallus titanium. God, I love it. Yo, taxi! Morpho phallus titanium. The sound of it gives me a red one in Come on, get going. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called dead. It's a morpho phallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it seem so bad? It's about marking your territory, my dear. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I would try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, Sailor. Gardening with Maurice. Only on WCTR. Deal with your ignorance in one in minute flat. Gas tow, buddy. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. If you love to hear liberals whine hey, and conservatives Zach, lecture, here, then stay tuned for I Say You Say. The future of America threatened again. This time we win it. I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm also Dr. Phillips. Today on the show, do cave paintings in museums make us violent? The anti-beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. You go into hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up with a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right, and right Come on, is... I got text this or where east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, as a chair and chair mic, of your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the part of hydroponic farm, growing potatoes, or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor? You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, the professor in social Darwinism, or me, we're in quick this anthropology. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm a white, oh, middle oh, class, very erudite. Well, you know, whatever that means. The people just you respond you. badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> <laughs> Think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Where is the local? Yeah, Let's go! Sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job as a medical staff. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a first time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. It seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil. Oh, uh, fuck going you too. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it sticks this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country.
country. When? Ah. Oh, gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew to battle. Relax them in stressful stints of genocide, witch burning. And you're so against Jim, raising Jim, taxes. Jim, here's a little extra. Pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why Happy! can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? You know what, Bring I don't have time to play around. Expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. Right. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way, we weed out the meat, make a lot of money in tax, right and here, keep good. our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on, I say, 